Okay. All right, Max. Do an intro. Do an intro. Go. The intro is the intro that we all need. And I said it. You're welcome. That was a terrible intro. Hi, guys. Welcome to today's video. Uh, we're doing something a little different. We're going to talk about the PlayStation 5 events live stream thing. Uh, yeah. We're a little late yeah. to it, but we're late to everything, so it's fine. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. However, but don't you want to know our take on it? <laughs> yeah, a really small YouTube channel with 45 subscribers. That's right. Hey, you know what's great? The last video you mentioned, you made fun of that we had 38. And look at us now. <laughs> Thank did, you. Thank you to everyone out numbers. there. Yeah, exactly. We just keep making fun of it, and we'll keep growing. That's how it All works. All right, guys. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you like us. We like you. Let's get started. That was bad. <laughs> well, and also let us know if you like this type of video. You know, usually we just do uh, videos where we're just gaming. Yeah. And I like those videos. But if you're like, I like when I see your face and you talk to me, let we us We can know. talk about stuff, have game discussions about games. Games. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Mac, what do you want to talk about? What do you want to hit well, on first? Okay, I mean, we got to hit on the first thing that they showed, which was Miles Morales. Spider -Man. Yeah. Now, here's the big question that I have. Is it... Okay. Is it a DLC or is it its own game? I believe they came it out is, and said it's its own game, correct? It's its own game. It's not mm -hmm. Spider-Man PS4 2, which is right. what I thought maybe it might be. But no, it's more like, um, you remember the Left Behind bonus game for uh, The Last of Us? Yes. And then yep. like Uncharted 4 had The Lost Legacy. Yep. It's, it's yep. that for Spider-Man PS4. It'll be Gaia. about half the size of Spider-Man PS4. It'll be half the cost probably but it will be entirely new stuff. Yeah, which, I mean, I, I'm going to be honest, like, it really <coughs> excites me. I do, of course, wish it was the full-blown new game because, like, I mean, that, that would have been awesome. The graphics did look fantastic um, from what they showed, um, but it did, it did look a lot just like Spider-Man on PS4. So well, um, the interesting thing is about playing as Miles Morales is he has different powers than Peter Parker. Like he has right. like the, the web sticking, the web swinging, the, the punching power, but he also has like the, the venom touch thing and, uh, and cloaking abilities. Mm -hmm. So I think that'll add a lot of fun new elements to the gameplay. And maybe when we do get Spider-Man 2, it'll be like a cross, like you can maybe play as both of them or they'll have like different parts where you play as right. both. Well, see, that's the question, though. Because it's just an add-on, is there going to be a lot of different powers to this I game? I assume so. Like, that's the thing. Like, it's going to be its own contained game with its own upgrade system. It won't probably won't be as robust. Not that Spider-Man PS4 had too much of a robust <laughs> right. upgrade right. system. But, like, it'll, it'll have its own. It'll be its own game. So. Right. I'm, so I'm super excited for that. I think... Very excited. I mean, that I just loved Spider-Man on the PS4 so much, so... We played Give that me more. when I visited you. We played through like the whole game in like two nights. The entire game. game. The entire the game. Entire it was great. Game. All right. What's, what's something you want to talk about there, Tony Boy? I want to talk about Deathloop. Because Ooh. despite not really knowing what's going on with it, it looks intriguing at least. I do have some questions about what exactly, like how mechanically it's going to work. Like, right. like obviously the gimmick, the, the catch for it is that it's... Um, it's like a Groundhog's Day type deal, but for a video game. And I guess it's just a question of how exactly that's going to look like, how the assassin versus the assassin mechanic is going to work. Is it you versus like a like an AI, like the alien from Alien Isolation, or is it like right. another like another human? And is it like that kind of game? So right. I'm not entirely. Maybe they've come out and said it. I haven't looked into it too much, honestly. But I would I want to know more about like what it's actually going to look like. It was nice to see what the gameplay looked like because at E3 last year they only showed like a cinematic trailer. Right. We got a little bit of a gameplay this time, which I thought was exciting. Showed mm -hmm, that it, mm -hmm. you know looks pretty good. It's got its own little art style. Yeah, I mean it kind of reminded me a little bit of like a Bioshock. <laughs> you know, kind of uh, you can go it's around, beat them up. Um, you know, like the gun. Bioshock, are actually, the like, game you've played all of twenty minutes of. <laughs> oh yeah, but it, like the you know the powerful 
gun that actually like kills when you shoot it you know like an actual kind of realistic version of it i do um, like the the idea of having to like learn from each playthrough and like oh this right. is what killed me last time i need to plan ahead so when that happens i'm prepared one, it was funny because there was another game that was actually very similar to oh. that death loop style. Yeah, which, like, I don't know if they just didn't talk about it or <laughs> if they were both like, okay. we have this. Uh, it was that game. I can't remember what the name was. It was the uh, old lady game who's like trapped on this uh, the old lady island. Do you know what I'm talking about? She she crashes and she keeps dying from the aliens on the planet, but then keeps coming back to life. Do you not? Did you not see this? No. Oh, okay. oh, you're talking about, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, it was at the, you're talking about, it was at the PS4 thing. It was, um, oh, hold on, I'm gonna look it up. I do know what you're talking about. Yeah, so, because basically Returnal. it's like, yes, kind of the same style of, like, learn from you dying, you know. Um, I think they have very different, like, like, well, Deathloop yeah. is obviously, like, an action game. Right. And like we said, we don't, like, we also don't really know, same with that game, Returnal, what the, how that's going to be incorporated into the gameplay. Right. Well, like I know, but it was just like, if I was a game developer, um, and also, okay, first off, before we get go any further, to all game developers out there, because I know you're fans of the channel, um, <laughs> you need of someone who is actually kind of uh, exciting on camera. Uh, my name is Max, because every single person was so awkward. And if, if I was about to announce a game, I would kind of like think of what I'm going to say, you know, be excited, go up, be like, hey guys, we have a new game. Instead of being like, I'm very excited to show you our new game. In their defense, that's not new. Yeah. They were hired uh, to like program games and stuff. They I mean, were like, oh, I, again, be on camera. Hire, hire an actor. I mean, even like NBA 2K, you know, had a Zion Williamson, the, you know, NBA, he's going to be the cover of the guy and he was just looking to the side of the camera the entire time like <laughs> guys nba 2k is exciting and i'm like okay, i'm not gonna lie i tuned out a little a, bit for that one i mean it i mean yeah it's a huge reveal and is yet it? the people well no like not it's no but nobody's surprised about that game being revealed but i'm saying the playstation 5 this like yeah, this whole thing is a huge I'm reveal i just again hire me hire me if you need it You're um the, right here folks hire him Yep. Anyway, back yeah. to what we're supposed to be talking about. <laughs> but yeah, so anyways, but like I, I, a lot of the games were very cool looking, but I didn't get a lot of info as far as in like, what is the game? You know what I'm saying? Like the only games that I kind of like know what they're going to be are the games that are like remakes or yeah. or the like, you know, Miles Morales or Gran Turismo, which thank, thank you for showing me, you know, like 50 seconds of a car driving. I really appreciated that. It was, it looked good. It was a good looking car <laughs> driving simulator. Uh, another game I was very excited about just because of the song. Um, and let me tell you, best, best trailer I would, by far. I wouldn't go that far. But Bug Snacks. Ahead. Bug <laughs> Snacks. With that song, it was stuck in my head. As well as you had the Australian mate <laughs> talking about how great these Bug Snacks are. Was that an Australian <laughs> accent? Because it wasn't. Yes, it was. Was it? No, was I'm like, talking about I, yours I, just now. Oh, no. It is not. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, this is really not Australian. Like, <laughs> that, that, game looked, that game looked fun. And a little, little weird. But, you know, it's they're trying something. Right. Agreed. But I will say that song was fantastic. So kudos. I don't even remember the song, so. I'm gonna take you need word. to listen to it right now I and play it in this video. Anyway, <laughs> no. we'll get them monetized, even though we make no money. <laughs> so something I'm personally very excited for, because I've been a big fan since uh, they did the remake in 2006, or I mean 2016, uh, Hitman. Hitman 3, very, very exciting for me. I like the Hitman games, especially the ones they've been doing the last two times, Hitman and Hitman 2. Yep. Uh, we have a video coming out soon. Hopefully. If not, I'll edit this out. <laughs> and uh, I really like these games. They're fun. I'm oh, excited fantastic. for more of it. Even if it, like, obviously, I do hope they innovate a little bit and they add something new to it. But honestly, I like just how they are. It's, well, you fun. just, 
just updated <laughs> graphics on that game alone is going to make it just that much better. Like I, I love playing the game and you just say, okay, now it's on the PlayStation five yep. where it's going to have better graphics and new, I mean, just I new want story. Like, you know what I mean? Bigger, like it's going to be amazing. Worlds. Like, yes. like more. Cause like the whole premise of the game is you just, for those of you who don't know, is you're just a hitman, you have a target and it's kind of up to you to use your environment to kill them. Right. And, uh, I, I want bigger of that. They can make it more, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Grand. Diverse brands. Oh, diverse. You could have like, that word. like word. more, um, you know, like computer players or uh, whatever. <laughs> I can't speak. I, so something I, I want to talk about is how Rockstar, what? They baited us. You, you really let us down. That's all I'm going to say. Like there were reports about new GTA. I mean, obviously, you know, we were we were just excited. I was I was excited. I was so ready. And then they're like, "Hey, don't worry, GTA Online. You get a million dollars for every day." Like, and I was like, "I don't yeah. care. <laughs> I don't care." Yeah, I mean, what we really need is Grand Theft Auto Five put onto another console. Right. Which I mean, don't get me wrong. I will get it, <laughs> and I will I'll play because they. It. Well, they said they said it's enhanced and they're adding more stuff. So if they Maybe actually are adding good. more. I will get it. Maybe we'll play some GTA Online for the channel because I haven't. I've never said, really gotten into it. Oh, it's 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 good. But that being said, GTA Six is what I was looking forward to, Ex and they really let it me down. Uh, I'm I just gonna down. like. I mean, they, they didn't even have an, a new game. Like, at least announce a new game. In their defense, like they spent a long time. Like there was such a there was a big gap between Grand Theft Auto Five and Red Dead Redemption Two, right? And it was worth it because Red Dead Redemption Two. Is it's phenomenal. Like even if you don't like the gameplay or you find it boring, it's very, it's about as realistic as games these days can get. And whatever right. they do on the next gen hardware, it's going to be great. And I'm willing to wait, but <laughs> you don't have to make a big deal about putting Grand Theft Auto Five on the PS5. <laughs> Nobody's surprised by that. No, no. <sighs> it's fine. I mean, it's fine. it was it was a letdown for sure. It was a letdown for sure. So uh, a new IP, I'm kind of excited about, Ghostwire Tokyo. Now I know you said you weren't that you kind of lost found out with first person, but I don't I don't mind it. It looks cool. Like the enemy designs look cool. The uh the gameplay looks mm, agreed cool. I agreed. don't think it being first person is a big deal, but you know that's just me. I I'm just me. if it was third person, if you have I mean maybe you have a choice. I don't know. Maybe there there is a choice. If it's third person, I think that makes that game so much cooler. I mean I just do. I mean I just think, and that's just because I'm not a huge first person player i don't like it that much i always change it to third person if i can so that was the one thing that really let me down by the game but i will say it was it was pretty it looks cool. cool it looks really cool like uh, i remember when they first revealed at e3 i'm like okay i really want to see more of this because this looks right. and plus it's something as far as i know completely new which is not something we yeah. get a lot of it's true that's very true there were i mean i feel like there were a lot of games that were announced with not a lot given i mean kind of just go back to that point and so i just feel like there's a lot of titles that we could say that were announced and we're not going to hit on every one in this video but a lot of them were just almost like a little clip of a, you know like a little like cinematic trailer which that doesn't tell me anything about cinematic. the game yeah i mean and they're i mean they're, they're be cool, really cool but like give me gameplay Give me gameplay. Like I need, to, I need to know what the type of game is. Um, I mean, and a great example of that was the uh, the Cat Detective um, game, the where what? the I, I don't know what it was called. I'm butchering it like crazy. But there was a game where you're a cat wandering the streets, and you're like a detective. You're supposed to be figuring stuff out, and it's a world with robots and stuff like that. I mean, what is that game? What, what are you gonna Talking do? About are you gonna stray? Yeah. Are you gonna meow at? Uh, enemy robots and they're gonna like explode <laughs> yeah like what's gonna happen and so again show me gameplay so i can get excited about the game i i understand what the cinematic trailer is showing but it doesn't tell me anything um and so that was and in defense that... of cinematic trailers like they are a good way to like build hype for your game like obviously the miles morales uh, spider-man trailer didn't really show any gameplay right. but we're still hyped about it but also with that we know more or less what the game's going to be like. It's going to be a exactly. Spider-Man game. Exactly. Again, if it's not a new game, I get it. But if it's a brand new game, show me gameplay so I can get excited for it. You know, right. show me gameplay. But so something I also want to talk about was the uh, Little Big Planet 
essentially Super Mario World uh, World like, game. Uh, Sackboy where, Adventures, I think it was called. Sackboy Adventures, yeah. And I'm not gonna lie, I was really when I, I think because I you you let me know that this was a game that was coming out, and I was really hoping it was Little Big Planet Three because of how we fun had the Little, Little Big, Big Planet. There was oh, a three. Little Big Planet we played Four. It. Yeah. There you oh, go. Oof. Wow, there's been so many Little Big Planets. Anyways, <laughs> like I three? wish there was a Little Big Planet 4 instead of the Sackboy Adventures. And the reason I say that is because the platforming is a ton of fun in Little Big Planet. Um, I think the platforming is actually one of the best things. <laughs> but I will say I think the funnest thing that we ever did was doing those online-made levels <laughs> where sharks are coming and <laughs> launching you across yeah. the entire like world – a little big planet and like that's the thing that i'm like am i gonna get that in this game because i don't think it will unfortunately yeah that's the thing i'm worried about i'm worried about it just being like a straight like uh just like a 3d platformer with the little big planet skin if it doesn't have the create your own world element like even little big planet karting you could make your own karting tracks and that was right. fantastic i love that if this doesn't have that then there's really no point in it being a little big planet game right but you know so another big one that i was really excited about uh, Resident Evil 8. Yep. Resident 8. Yep. Resident Evil Village with an Village. evil Chris Redfield, maybe. Who knows where he's at at this point. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it does feature the returning protagonist of Resident Evil 7, Ethan. Right. Uh, the Village setting is very interesting. It's very reminiscent of uh, Resident Evil 4, which I love mm-hmm. and you haven't played. I have not, no. Good, you get it. Anyway... <laughs> But yeah, no, I'm really excited about that. And yeah, I there were some leaks that, that came out, but still, that was one that had a cinematic trailer that made me very pumped, and it looked very good. Like that was a good example of a cinematic trailer because we've had <coughs> seven Resident Evil games, so you know well, pretty much what the game more than is. Seven. <laughs> I mean, yeah, whatever. There's like but, one at least. Yeah, but <laughs> basically, it's just the fact that. We we know what we're pretty much getting. It's we're continuing the story, so a cinematic trailer makes sense for that, you know. Um, and so seeing that, it was actually really cool. And again, that was another one that really showed off the beauty of the PlayStation Five, which was really cool. Um, because I mean, again, that's kind of what we want to see too. I mean, this is the PlayStation Five kind of like yeah. reveal, you know. And so we want to see what is it going to look like. Um, was, so that was really exciting. I was kind of surprised that they didn't like stream the whole thing in 4K, honestly. But, going back to um, Resident Evil 8, the, the thing I think that worked about that cinematic trailer is that it's a horror game, right? And the right. thing you want to get across is like the atmosphere of the game. And I think mm. Resident 8, the cinematic trailer for that, did a good job of like, okay, so this is what the new setting is going to be. This is going to be the general vibe of it. You get to see returning faces. You get to see new characters. You get like little hints at what the like the horror elements are going to be, but you don't really... Like, they don't overexpose it, too, which can also be to its detriment. Right. And, you know, Resident Evil 7 was great. Like, it was a, it was terrifying. <laughs> I can't even whew, do it, v, doing it in VR. That was a mistake I will not repeat. <laughs> but um, I'm really excited about Resident Evil 8. I think they've been doing pretty good. Resident Evil 3 was kind of short, so I do hope that this one is much longer. But it's also not a remake, so hopefully it will be. I think it's going to be good. Um, so one that I... I don't think this game needs any words besides what I'm about to say. Volcano High. We'll just leave it there. Yep, that's it. That's that's all you need to know. Uh, that's the first game I am getting when the Volcano High. High. Comes out. <laughs> yeah, uh, of course. Looks, like just the most generic indie student oh, film yeah. garbage. Whatever you know, what? they people probably worked hard on it. I'm not gonna make fun of it. Yeah. Yeah, but the game I actually want to talk about <laughs> is uh, Ratchet and Clank. Um, They're back. I I mean, it, well, so they had the PlayStation Four game, which that was okay. I I I think the biggest thing that I wish people and 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 maybe it it is doing very successful for the younger audience, but like people like me who grew up with Ratchet and Clank, I kind of wish that there was like some more like my age stuff in Ratchet and Clank, if that makes sense. Right. It's kind of like, um, you know, like a Crash Bandicoot. The Crash Bandicoot, they just did the remake, which made me feel nostalgic, and so I wanted to play it. The new Ratchet and Clank game, I mean, it was a brand new game, which is very cool, 
but it was very like I felt like I was 12 again playing it and I don't need to be 12 playing video games so um, it was great so I am hopeful but I'm also scared if that makes sense and just based off the the gameplay that they did show it looked very fun and very cool but there was also some of those great ratchet lines that you're like oh so bad <laughs> so um i don't know i don't know what to think about it what are, what are your thoughts on ratchet and clank i mean i don't have any nostalgia for ratchet and clank i never played them when i was growing up i was like oh it's cool that they have a ps5 game but like to me the most interesting part of all of that was the dimension hopping that was mm -hmm. happening in game like if that's right. happening in real time while you're playing that's really impressive right but i think if that's showing what the playstation 5 is capable of i'm excited to see like i read somewhere that like if what has happening in that trailer is what can actually happen, this would be a great time for like a, a, a game about the flash, you know? Yes. That'd be really yes. exciting. And if that's that something cool. like that's capable, then I'm a hundred percent on board. Right. Right. Man, a flash game. That would be right? cool. But you can actually, really cool. uh, I think the, the last big one there is to talk about is uh, obviously horizon two horizon. Was it going done. West? Horizon Gone West. <laughs> Fifle goes west. The uh, Horizon 2 Forbidden West. <laughs> uh, I liked Horizon Zero Dawn. I haven't beaten it. it. It's a really cool and interesting world. And I'm excited to see more because it looks like like from what I was the vibe I was getting from that trailer was that it's gonna be a much bigger scope and you're gonna see more of like the United States in this post robot taking over world and you're gonna see bigger enemies and i think it's i'm really excited to see more what they're planning on doing with that yeah i think it's really cool i mean it's kind of like playstation's version of breath of the wild almost um where it's this huge world you're discovering stuff there's you know it's open world like you're just going and so i i think it's going to be really cool i mean i remember just like sitting with you playing the first one and it's a beautiful game. And it again, really that's is. another, it's another one that I think I'm just very excited for the PlayStation five, because when I'm getting a new console, I want to see the difference of my new console. You know, yes, obviously it's not going to be as loud because the cooling fan is going to be better. That's great. <laughs> <I would laughs> so that. that's, that's already a huge <laughs> plus. However, I would love if, you know, I, I like seeing what I'm getting in graphics as well. Um, right. And so I think, I think it was really cool to see that. I think the game looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, so, I mean, obviously it's one thing watching the trailer and another thing actually playing it. So we'll see. But I think I think that one is kind of one of those staple. It's <coughs> going to be a good game. All right. Last but not least, what did you think of the actual design of the console? The Does actual it like design a router. <laughs> looks like a router. I, I do think... It was cool though. I, I actually like it, and I, I think a lot of people are giving it a lot of crap. Yeah, but they do that with everything. But they did look that at with the, the new, Xbox, whatever the new Xbox is called. I was gonna say, Xbox look at that thing compared. No, well, Xbox X. <laughs> 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 but like, but like, I mean, seriously, compare those two consoles. I'm a lot happier with having one thin kind of, you know, one that stands vertically versus this huge box. Yeah, here's what the did things you think? I, I don't like. Go for it one is i'm i'm a disc believer i like me too disc and it scares me I that they're like coming out with disc. a digital version um eh. and so i mean because honestly it makes me think that there is going to be a point where they're going to come out with a new console i mean it's going to be far down the road but they're going to come out with a new console and say discs are for chumps and i'm going to say i'm a chump <laughs> and i want i want those discs and the second thing <laughs> what's the cost yeah, you do this huge reveal and you don't even give a cost. Like I, I can't. It's like, I think at this point Microsoft and Sony are just playing chicken with who reveals the price of their console first. One hundred. Because it's going to give them advantage. If like the Xbox comes out and says, "Oh, we're six hundred dollars," and the PlayStation comes out with like, "Oh, we're five hundred. What now? You know, it's obviously going to give them advantage, and like, it, but it's also really frustrating because this all this stuff is coming out of holiday of this year. That's less than six months away at this point. Right. Like. When when are we gonna get to like when are we gonna start like when can we pre-order it when can we know what it's gonna cost? Well, you can technically pre-order it now for seven hundred dollars, which 
like that's not the there. official cost. You can you can pre-order it right now from Sony for seven hundred dollars, but it, it's not the official cost. So you pre-order it for that much money. It could be cheaper and you get money back, or it could be more expensive and you have to pay more. I, I, if it's more expensive, then that's that that would be dumb. Like I'd still oh. probably end up getting one, but I would be I would be salty about it. I don't I'm mind be salty it being seven hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah, I'm salty. gonna be real salty. I don't mind if it's more than the PS4 as long as they deliver on it being better. Right. Like the PS3 was five hundred dollars, and that wasn't really worth five hundred dollars. The PS4, I feel like it's 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 great for its price. You can't see it when I'm gesturing towards my PS4 when I do that. But <laughs> the PS3 wasn't really worth it. The five hundred dollars. The PS4 right. to me was, especially if you get it later in its life cycle. With like another thing I'm excited about. This is completely irrelevant. Not completely irrelevant. I'm excited that like we're getting good games for it, like near the release, like the um, the Hitman games coming out that January, uh, Miles Morales Spider Man's coming out in the holiday of 2020, so it could be a release title. Like we're it's not like we're starting with with no games. Right. Well, and the fact that it can play PlayStation 4 games. That's a it very will be big... able to play PlayStation 4 games, and I think that was huge. And honestly. That's where if they make it where it was seven hundred dollars, even though I will be salty, I will still buy it. You know, and that and I think I mean that was huge. It really was. Well, with that, I don't think there's anything else to talk about. I think we nailed it. That's right. Nailed we it. nailed it. How long is this? So video? if you think we nailed it, how about you like? How about you comment? How about you subscribe? Do those and how things. about you comment about how handsome I look? I appreciate it. No, don't do that. Let us know what game was your favorite and what you're most excited for. Or if you're not excited and you're an Xbox person, we don't discriminate. I'm a PlayStation person. Max I have both. Is a both. I actually also have a Switch. I have everything. Which That's so, it, it, and to be honest, where where I come from is I have every console. I didn't want any new console to come out because <laughs> a new console comes out, that means I have to buy it so I can play the new games. Otherwise, uh, yeah, you have I to don't play those new games. Yeah, for a channel. I have to. It's required by law. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Let us know if we should do more stuff like this, and we'll see you in the next video.